Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Your first card here is the Lover's card. Wow, Strength card, Major Arcanas. The Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. The Chariot card. The Ten of Swords. The Seven of Wands. The Fool card. The Eight of Cups. And the Star card. Wow. All right, let's see what's going on with Virgos. So right at the center, we have the Ten of Swords. A lot of you guys are concluding relationships, friendships, and connections. This is a positive thing. This is, um, what they're saying here is that there is a conclusion or an ending cycle, uh, perhaps something that you've done in the past when it comes to relationships. This is uh, directly speaking about um past behaviors that were toxic uh, that is finally coming to its culmination you either have understood this on a deeper level for a lot of you guys you guys have been going through um, a lot of healing type of energy if you found sorry not found if you felt that in the past it was almost like you were being tested you were uh, connecting with people and for some reason it just wouldn't work out and you were like trying to give yourself the opportunity to be happy, but it just wouldn't pan out. Uh, what they're telling you is that there was a higher purpose for this. And the reason behind this is because spirit was preparing you to bring to you uh, the relationship that you've been hoping and wanting. But you had to do a lot of internal working, Virgo, uh, which is, like I said, a very positive thing. Um, now, they are showing me here the lover's card. So I definitely do see love coming towards you guys. Uh, for a lot of you guys, it could be the manifestation of a long-term commitment, while others, uh, this is definitely talking about, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with Gemini, Leo energy, Cancer energy, Aquarian type of energy, Piscean type of energy, but ultimately what Spirit is telling you here is that with the Lover's card, uh, you are currently at crossroads, and this is something that's been happening, I want to say the past two to three months for you guys where now you've gotten to the point of culmination with the strength card, believing in yourself, being more confident in yourself. Yes, it's been a long journey. For some of you guys, this is a relationship you've been working at for a very long time, wanting some type of commitment and it just wouldn't pan out for you guys. Um, nonetheless, with the nine of cups, this is the wish fulfillment card. Uh, this is finally coming through for you guys with the chariot coming in very quick motion. For some of you guys, um, this could even be directly connected, especially those of you guys that are single, uh, towards a new energy that's coming towards you. And you may know exactly who the spirit is talking about. Um, time frames they're giving me June or July. So again, like I said, what they're saying here is that this, all the experiences you've been going through in regards to relationships were necessary. Um, you, like I said, it's almost like it's made you stronger, uh, more confident in yourself. You know exactly what you're looking for, Virgo, and you're not wanting to settle down for anything less than that, which is definitely a good thing. You have the full card here. It's a new beginning, a new journey that you're taking on, walking away from, like I said, past people that are no longer working for you, past relationships that you just don't see it going anywhere. You're definitely walking towards your purpose, the, the the crystallized idea or desire of what you want. And the star card, uh, finally, the planet alignments helping you and assisting you and bringing towards you uh, the specific relationship that you've been waiting for, that you've been wanting. Now, for those of you guys, <clears throat> for those of you guys that have been or currently have been dealing with a relationship where it just didn't want to work out. The person didn't want to change. The person didn't want to commit. Um, I, I feel that for some of you guys, um, if you have or currently are dealing with that type of energy, what Spirit is telling you is that for some of you guys, you're going to have to embrace an ending. Uh, but this ending comes with an ending cycle. Therefore, bringing towards you new opportunities and something or a new connection that is going to be much more long lasting, more stable, more fruitful. Uh, with the star card, it's like, and the nine of cups, it's your emotional fulfillment being materialized. So again, 
I do see a lot of connections for a lot of you Virgos out there. For some of you guys, it could even be um, like being very pulled towards this person, this new person that's coming in. They're not going to be shy about letting you know that they're very much interested in you. Now, let's see what Spirit's message for you is here. All right, so we have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself uh, creatively. Creatively. Uh, spiritual teacher, you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. And counseling, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathic ear. So I feel that what Spirit is telling you guys is that this person that's coming through for you guys could be a person that is very creative. It could be a person that is very much into either painting, very much into music, very much into that of the creative outlook. Um, this person can also be extremely spiritual or have the desire of being very spiritual. And this is a person that is going to be very kind to you, a person that is very, um, like very empathic. Uh, so ultimately what Spirit is telling you is, again, if you guys are dealing with, uh, with a person, a specific person currently in your life that is not giving you any type of commitment or any type of um, knowing exactly where you guys stand, what they're telling you is do, do not resist the changes that are coming through. <clears throat> there is an, uh, a reasoning behind it, and that reasoning is to finally come to an end or a conclusion of basically you know, kiss, kissing a ton of frogs and not being able to see the prince uh, or vice versa. Um, so what they're telling you here is do not frustrate yourself, uh, Virgo. Do, do not feel um, like spirit has forgotten about you or like you can't find that stable relationship. Uh, what spirit is telling you is embrace the endings that are coming because this is bringing you closer to the person that is coming towards you. And again, you may experience, uh, you may start to experience these changes from now all the way to June or July, give or take the beginning, the first week of July. Uh, but ultimately, this is a much more uh, mature type of energy. And this person is definitely coming towards you with a commitment. So they're ready. They're n it's not a person that is confused about their emotions. It's not a person that um, is still dealing with ex-partners, that type of energy. This is a mature energy. This is a person that uh, perhaps has been single for a very long time. Perhaps they've been single for over three years. This is a person that is definitely looking for long-term and that is ready. They are emotionally open. Uh, so this is definitely what you want to get when it comes to relationships because oftentimes we find ourselves... Um, putting or connecting with people that are emotionally unavailable. And for some of you guys, it could even feel like fascinating, you know, to try to uh, convince them that they want a relationship. And this is something that you've done in the past. But now what Spirit is saying, you've learned those lessons and now you're not wanting to waste time. Now you know exactly what it is that you want. And that's exactly what you're going to get, Virgo. So very beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoy, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.